about the concept that it can't happen here. This is fresh material. Some of you know that in New England, there are dozens of communities who passed impeachment resolutions. The evidence for impeachment, high crimes and misdemeanors, is so overwhelming that it's almost as if the Democrats are saying, Bush Cheney are so impeachable, we can't impeach them. <laughs> At least five distinct counts of high crimes and misdemeanors, including a war of aggression, torture, arrests without charges, prison. They use the word detainee. Illegal surveillance. That's a felony for a government to do that without judicial approval. It's a five-year jail term under the FISA Act. Now notice this. You've got towns in Vermont, Massachusetts, and five little towns in not so little, West Hartford in Connecticut, who have passed resolutions demanding the impeachment of Bush and Cheney. In one cluster around Stockbridge in Massachusetts, there are 13 towns in one congressional district where two-thirds majority called for the impeachment of Bush and Cheney in 2007. All this was presented to the congressman, a Democrat, Congressman John Olver. He's a PhD from MIT in science. He was born in 1936, so he has a scope of history. Here's what the reaction was. Made fully aware of the overwhelming majority of his constituency resolved for impeachment, Congressman Olver vehemently refused. Rather, he expressed his opinion that the current autocratic executive, meaning the White House, would attack Iran from the air, declare a national emergency, institute martial law, and call off the 2008 elections where the Democrats initiate impeachment. Oh, oh my God. Now, I don't remember Congress and Olver being seen as a particular off-the-wall maverick. But if that's the kind of thinking that is circulating on Capitol Hill, things are a lot worse than we thought. Because if this is accurate, it's a lot worse than we thought. And if it isn't accurate, they're a lot more paranoid than we thought. Either way, they're not a proper opposition party. 